All right, you got ants in your house? Well, guess what? We do too, but we're killing them with the help of some Taro liquid ant baits. And I thought I'd just do a little video here because, uh, yeah, we had a, what we thought was a little ant problem. Turns out, put out some of these ant baits and it looks like it's now a huge ant problem, but it's pretty fun watching them because I know that the ants are eating all this liquid ant bait and they're gonna die soon. That the ants go in here and they eat the, the poison, the bait, they go back into their home nest and it kills them. This has only been sitting out for like two hours and I wanted to show you guys the, the progress and uh, so far, I think it's doing its job, but we will see. I'm gonna do the full review and everything in the video. So uh, here's our countertop. Here's where we had some, you know, fruit and stuff sitting out, and there was a few ants, not near this many. Um, so now we put out the Taro Liquid Ant Baits, and it looked like, there's, just put two of them there, and it looks like the ants are going crazy. They're saying, oh wow, we got this something sweet, something sweet, woo, woo. Deploy, deploy, send out all the troops, send out all the troops. Because there's now, you know, hundreds or thousands even probably of ants. Whereas there was just a few before. But this is good, I think, because they're eating the poison and they're going to die. And so something fun I figured I would show you on the video is I have been watching their little route. It's pretty neat. All of these ants, what they do is they go to a place where they find the food or whatever, and then they have this little super highway that they built. And I'll show you the super highway. They go down here, they go down our wall, and it's like, it's really cool because they all follow the same little path. And here we got another ant bait. Taro liquid ant baits. Right there, I put it where, where, I, knew, where I knew their little path was, right? Okay, and so then they go from there, they follow it over, and it's neat because they're going right along this like silver thing on the side of our kitchen. They go right along. Do, 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 do. And they just, and then there they go. They're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Some are going, some are coming. And what I did is I followed all the way along. I put another one there, I just put that ant bait out. Okay, so we go up and let's see, we can trace their little highway. There they go, there they go. And right about here, for some reason, they decide, oh, we're gonna cross up this way and we're gonna go up the wood here. Do -do 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 Follow them up. This is their little super highway and it's really, it's funny because they cross across this, we've got this welcome thing here where we hang the coats. What they're doing is they're going into their little home, which I will show you. So here it is, uh, where they're at, okay? And this is, they're coming from all the way over there in the kitchen. They're going up, or no, they're going down, over, up, over top of the coat thing. And then right here, they cross again, and they choose to go down. There they are going and coming right here they choose to cut over I was like why do they pick that spot to cut over I don't know it's just interesting it's interesting watching them I'm afraid I'm sorry that they all have to die but it is interesting watching them okay and then they go down look at them all going and coming to and from to and from and I followed them down here and we're almost to the home base now okay and then they go down and here we go, here we got action, right here. They go down the wall right here, and then they go over, and that little hole right there, if you can see that, is where they're going into the ground, into their little home. Watch this guy, here he comes. This little guy, and he's gonna come over, and then he's gonna go down in here. Oh, in we go. In we go, in we go. So probably under the boards here, probably there's like super ant home or something, you know? But anyways, I'm gonna do an update here, probably on the video and let you know, did it kill them all or whatever. But right now that's where we're at. 
I'm letting them go. We're not wiping them up. We're letting the tons of them roam here. Alright, this is the end of day one. I wanted to just do an update on the ant situation here. And as you can see, this is probably about eight hours after I put these traps down. And we've got a large congregation of the ants. Just hanging out by the entrance, but it looks like they're slowing down. Some are probably dying. It's like they're drinking the poison and getting a little woozy, I think. And so that is the situation, and there's less activity going up and down the walls right now. We're going to go over and show you the home base as well. Alright, here's your home base action, and wow. Look inside of that trap right there. That is just full of ants. Are you serious? Yeah, full. Wow. Full of ants. <clears throat> and. And they keep coming out? Yeah, they're in and out, in and out, in and out. Wee! Wow. Oh my god. Please tell me they're gonna die after but going. But they're gonna to die, yeah. And then they go down in their little home right oh there. God. Wee! How do we have that many ants going in our floorboard? Yeah, but the thing is, they're eating that liquid ant bait. You sure all of them are? Yeah, they gotta die. You I don't know sure? how long it takes. We'll check on it tomorrow. But um, they're eating the bait and they're going in their little home. So hopefully that kills them and they bring it actually even into the home. Whee! Look at them go in there. Mm -hmm. I read that they eat the bait and then they go into the home. And die. It'll kill all of them. So we will see tomorrow. This is day two of our ant fiasco. And I wanted to show you just the update. It says on here, I wanted to read the back. You know, it says right here, the product specifically formulated to allow worker ants to consume the product and survive long enough to carry the liquid back to the ant nest and deliver a dose to the rest of the colony. So I think that is what happened here. I want to show you um, the update. The traps have been out for about 24 hours now and here's where we're at. This is the one that last night they were all hanging out at having a super party. And uh, as you can see, there's nothing here. Now we didn't wipe this up, didn't clean it up, nothing. I wanted to just leave them go and see what happened, right? And we have no ant activity. Now along their super highway that they had going last night. Zero. No ant activity. Wow. And then we had the super highway that went over here and up over the coat rack, etc. And I'm going to go down and check out their home base here. So here's what we got going on. Home base action. That was the little hole that they live in. And there's like a ton of them in this trap. Oh my gosh. So I'll probably replace this trap with one of the other traps that didn't have a lot of action. But they are not any longer going back and forth to the kitchen. I'm thinking the Taro Liquid Ant Bait did what it says it was going to do. Uh, there's a few surviving still. It said it might, it said on the package it might take it said it might take up to two weeks to actually do the deal, but we are at 24 hours in right now, and we have no more highway going. Uh, there's still some surviving ants, but a lot of dead ones. And if I could guess, I would say down under here, under our floorboard, in that hole, wherever their little home is, <laughs> there's probably a lot of dead ones right now. So that's what's going on. We still got a few living ones, but this is only one day in with one of these packages of the liquid ant baits. Very easy, very simple. Normally I don't like using poison, but I mean, if it's gonna do the trick like this and just get it done, uh, that's almost worth it. So I'll probably do one more update tomorrow or in a couple days, but this is looking good, looking like it's definitely worth my nine bucks on the Taro liquid ant bait. I would recommend it so far. Look at that. That's the back of the one party time one that was closest to their home that is the back of it 
So I'm gonna throw that one out and replace it with two more fresh ones right there close to their home. I think that'll work. I'm just gonna throw this one out. Be careful with it because it's poison, but I'll throw it out. And we had a big ant infestation like three days ago, but uh, check it out now. We've got the update. Here was their little home, was right back here. And we've got a few. There are a few. But that's about it. I mean, there was no more today. There's no more going into the kitchen. No more going on their little super highway thing that they had going the other day. Uh, if you go here into the kitchen, there's zero here where they had their big party going the other day. Zero there, uh, zero work that we had to do. All we did was basically uh, just buy that, nine bucks, put it out, and uh, it took care of the ants. I'm guessing they all went back in their little home and died. So dee 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 doo under the floorboards. Now we got an ant graveyard, but it's okay. So overall, <laughs> I would definitely recommend this product. Taro liquid ant bait nine dollars i'll put a link to it down in the description as well you can buy it online uh amazon ebay whatever uh, i'll put the link in the description and i definitely recommend buying it if you have an ant problem it took care of us it was quick and easy um so thanks for watching god bless you